So you first of all just have a, an injury update, everyone okay? Ready to go to the weekend? Um, yeah, we've got a couple of issues still um, with, with a few players that will need to be made you know, late decisions on. Um, Obviously, Connor's picked up a suspension as well. So, yeah, we'll, we'll be it'll be late before we know how how strong we're going to be. Is there any any fresh ones from last weekend? Um, no, nothing fresh. Um, just one or two little things that we need to clear up, and hopefully, over the next day or two, we'll we'll be in a position to put the best team out in the pitch as we possibly can be. How excited are you for Sunday? Um, yeah, looking forward to it like I look forward to every game. It's a big week for us. We've got three big games, three good games to be involved in as a as a player. I believe it's a real you know platform to go and progress individually as a team. Progressing really, you know, it's going to be very very difficult. But again, we've put as much preparation as we possibly can into this week, and we'll be as, as ready as we can be with, with what we've got available to us. Rangers taking a, a, a really big, a really significant loss midweek. Does that affect? Do you think that affects their approach going into this game? Does it mean that perhaps you need to go for them earlier? Are they, are they vulnerable? Can can you go and get them? Um, that's something you'd probably need to ask them. I mean, it's not um, a result they're used to being on the end of. But again, we we can we can't control how they react to that. What, what we can do is be as prepared as we possibly can be, which we've done already this week. We've put a lot of good work in. We've still got a little bit of things that we can fine tune before the game, but. Yeah, we'll be, as, we'll be as ready and prepared as we possibly can be for it. What, do, does that entail sticking to your you know, the kind of football that you've brought in since you arrived? We just spoke to Liam and he said that they'll play the way you want them to play, play you know, more, almost a more possession-based attack in football, more attractive football since, since you've arrived. Is it important you stick to that when the big teams come here? Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, yeah, without you know getting into too much detail, I mean, we, we need to bring a certain style and identity to everything we do. There's a few non-negotiables that we've got in the group that we that we require and that we want to see every single day and that won't change. That that will never change. Um, every game's different. Every game we look at, first and foremost, ourselves, what we can do to be the best we can possibly be. Of course, you need to be aware of the threats and the identity of the opposition, which is which is strong, very strong, regardless of the, the result the other night. Um, but again, the focus mainly, as always, about how we can bring the best version of us in a match day, and that that will never change. And how is the confidence amongst yourself, your staff, your players? Confidence is good. It's 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 been fine. We've been we've done well. I think. I think we've seen a lot of a lot of positive positive things individually, collectively. We've been progressing. We've, I don't feel like the the points we've got on board just now reflect that. But again, that, I'd imagine that's going to be consistent for most teams this season, and would probably say the same things. Um, even last week, I felt like there was something we could have got out of the game. Um, a couple of decisions went against us, but um, we we learn from that. We grow and we keep we keep um, progressing as much as we can. There was a the old sort of talk after the, the Liverpool game was that you know this is a, a Rangers team that can be got at, especially at home. Is that something that you will communicate to the players that from the first whistle it's a chance to really go at them? Well, we, every team we've played, every team we will ever play when I'm here, we'll look at how we beat the opposition. That will never change. It will be how, what can we do to win the game? That will never change. It hasn't changed for every game we've played so far this season and it won't change going forward. It's it's about what, what we do, how we tweak a certain certain things to cause the opposition problems, and I imagine that's pretty much every team would say the same. So, yeah, we can't control how they react and how they have dealt with things since that. What we can do is control what we've got here and how we approach the game, and we'll be as prepared, as I said before, we'll be as prepared and organised as much as we can be. Liam was saying it's the sort of games you relish on the telly, Sunday, full crowd, you know, I suppose the players, if the players can't be up for this one, then... Well, it should be as a player. It should be. It's a it's a chance. You know the exposure of the game. I think it's our first game on. You know with that television exposure and being on TV and you know as a player, if you're really wanting to enhance your reputation, you know these this, these games that we've got Sunday this this week coming are the games to go and do that. Whatever your ambition is as a player, you know is having a good performance and putting a a, a, a positive result and performance together will only help. Will only help that. And I think that's always been the case, but. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a great one and it's something that the players should be relishing. Well, scored and in a couple, couple of years ago. Is this an opportunity for him to shine? Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. I mean, Louis, you know, nobody nobody wants to see Louis playing and starting for us more than me, no one. So 
it's not been ideal we've wanted to get him on the pitch more as much as we can it's, that's not been able to happen yet um, we're hoping that that's going to change and we can get a little bit more out of him soon but yeah as I said he's yeah, he's someone that, that scores goals and um, I think what we have seen him showing that is a threat um, hopefully we can we can start to see a little bit more of him you just touched on a couple of decisions we've gone against you in previous games. How much are you looking forward to VAR coming in a week today? Um, yeah, um, yeah, that's a, I, it's it's good it's good that it's coming in. It's good that it's coming in and it'll clear things up. I've still got my own reservations personally about it, but um, I feel like it should have actually either been in at the start of the season or um, at then at the start of a new campaign. But yeah, it's. It's going to be here if it's ready and it's ready to go, then absolutely great. Um, but we'll, we'll see how it plays out. Have you got any concerns on how you maybe need to relate your messages to players and how different it could be, particularly for that defensive goalkeeper, that kind of thing? Well, I think yeah, everything's going to be highlighted. It's going to be it's going to be a little bit more more you know microscope on certain scenarios. Uh, but I think our, our defending this season has been has been clean. We've you know we've won a few penalties. We've also been on the the end of a few bad decisions of a few penalties as well where we could have had more so yeah hopefully it's a positive um, going forward for us um, and look forward to seeing how it plays out Stephen you mentioned William Walter he's just having to be careful with him I know he's been in the previous few years is it just a case of being patient you maybe want to throw him in a bit more yeah being patient patient's probably the, the right word for it I mean we want we want him to be there we want him to be ready to play as much as we possibly can that hasn't been the case unfortunately as I said before nobody wants to see him out there more I think it would be good to work with, with him and Kevin as well so, give us a different option give us a different kind of dynamic to our team and yeah we will see that at some point um, hopefully it's not, not too long before we see it and yeah that's that's the goal for, for us for him for everyone quite excited about them up at, certain points. at certain points, yeah. I mean, it's it's something we have looked at and we've, we will look at going forward. It's just whether you know that the, the, that the players are ready to do that. Um, recent game with Celtic Park, and all you were frustrated with the result and then, but the, the, the way the players get some joy up from pressing Celtic Park and getting bodies forward as well, is that an encouragement when you go into a game against Rangers as well that you, you know you've had? To, you know, yeah, I think at the end of that game, I know we, we kind of rode a luck a little bit, but after the game, I mean, we're disappointed again. It was a game we wanted to go in and do well in. I felt there was a lot of positives within that, but even at the end, we, you know, we were hanging on a little bit and we were pushing it. It's, it just shows you in terms of the mentality and the belief within the group. Um, you know, we don't like losing games, no matter who it's against. So as long as you know, we're here as a group, that will not change. And it's something that you need as a player, that you know, that willingness to win and you know, the de determination not to lose games. So, yeah, it's something that, as I said earlier, the points we've amassed so far could have been better, but, you know, it's something we're, we're confident in what we're doing and the work we're doing here that, that we'll get as many points on board um, as soon as possible. You've been involved in a few victories or Rangers went on a part of a certain kind of theme to you, you know, that you have to do as a player, as a team to, to win these sort of games. Yeah, it's been, it's, we picked up on it the other day in terms of the league, the record's not great. It's not been. It's not ideal. It's something that just highlights how difficult the the, the the fixture is for us, and how difficult a game it's going to be for us. I mean, individually, you need to be very, very strong. We need to have players playing as close to the maximum as possible as a group. We need to have a right game plan, and we need to rely on that working for us and everybody being together. We need the fans on side, which they always are here. Uh, we're going to need them as much as we possibly can, and. Obviously, up to the five subs also that we need to use. We need to be uh, understand that it might require the full squad to, to get this done and or give us the best chance possible.